we agree to leave these words in 2023? Riz? Yeah. Ohio. And Gat? How the frick are you gonna leave Ohio behind? Like, erase the state from everyone's memory? It's crazy we live in a world now where we can meme a place so heavily, it's like insanely cringe. They've become the most despised name in the world, and they didn't even do anything. Fellow Europeans, I want you to find the difference. Hmm, these images look literally the exact same. Didn't notice one? Me either. So what difference would it make if these nations cease to exist? Join the movement. Get rid of the microstates now. Well, wow, I'm not gonna lie, this one did actually get me. The left map did include Andorra, Monaco, Liechtenstein, San Marino, Vatican, and the right map, it did not. I will say it will be kind of hard to get rid of the island of Malta. Well, that is unless they put an Among Us character on their flag. Nuke it back into the Mediterranean. This man's doing literally God's work. He went back and logged every single flag I flew behind me for the year of 2023 with dates and everything. And I also think it's really impressive the fact that he identified them correctly. I know this one got a lot of people. Or the old Thailand flag with the elephant on it. This man is good. I try to fly more unique ones, but this one still pretty obvious. Fun fact, when I flew both the Polish and Indonesian flags in the background, they were the same flag. I just flipped them upside down. If Poland were a TV series, the original that everyone forgot about, it lasted a short time because the original creators had a fight and it all went to sh a remake that people approached with caution. But that had potential. Excellent second season in joint production with Lithuania. Huge success on Eastern markets. This one was taken off air. Rival studios are fighting for the rights of the series. <laughs> that was during the first partition of Poland. A failed amateur fan production. A remake for overseas markets created by a studio that acquired their rights in controversial circumstances and which considered a complete disarmation of the original materials by fans. Finally, it returned to television thanks to a petition from Millions controversial and violent finale also taken off the air again though. Here's the current season, a return to the roots but with heavily mixed reviews. And finally, the controversial romance plot that is demanded by narrow group of fans. The rest realized that it wouldn't make sense plot-wise and would be on par with the Game of Thrones ending. They're referring to the people that Poland should annex Russia Russian-controlled Kaliningrad up here. I just want a remake of this series when they combined with Lithuania. Who would win? The United Kingdom or California? Both, I think, equally disliked by the world. Britain with 185,000 personnel versus California's 184,000. 225 plus nukes versus over 1,000 nukes. 564 aircraft versus 15,000 aircraft. 227 tanks versus 700 tanks. Finally, 55 billion defense budget versus 61 billion defense budget. This would be pretty interesting. Thing is, the United Kingdom have 67 million people living in it, and I've seen just how wild they get at pubs. I think a majority of Californians, including myself, couldn't even fight out of a paper bag if we wanted. The water tank tank. Fill a tank with water, LMAO. Ooh, and the fish here acts as emotional support. Less risk of armor cook-off. No risk of fire here. Buoyancy makes shells easier to move around. Small fragments, and these rounds lose speed real quick in water. Better cooling. Sealed against radiation. Enemy can't use our tank without diving gear, and these units here get to drink the water inside. This is genius. How have we not thought about this? New Mr. Beast video just leaked. I hired my cat to take Europe in the next seven days. Oh, he's filming in Berlin, Germany. Don't tell me your cat once had a passion for painting too. Zero dislikes though. Oh no, not another Simpsons prediction. What's the difference between Pakistan and a pancake? Uh oh. I don't know any pancakes that were nuked by India. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, uh, Okay, what? that's Too soon. <laughs> okay, I know the Simpsons are perfect at predicting everything. Not this one, though, please. This is supposed to happen within the next six years. I would rather not potentially have to go through World War III. Indian meme review rewind for 2023. Well, of course, it's gonna be a lot with uh, the Indian leader. <laughs> I'm fascinated, actually, how many of these memes I don't know. You'd think that I would at least recognize some of them. Okay, well, there's I Show Speed. Dude, okay, yeah, those two, the friend zone thing. Maybe he's still friend zone, I don't know. India on the moon! Okay. Okay, that was pretty cool. That was awesome. <laughs> it's interesting how there are like crossover memes that uh, uh, like other people have seen. Okay, well there's there's that relationship ag again. Uh, there are memes that are crossing over, but then there's also twists that I've never seen before. That was very beautiful. I wish every country did their own meme rewind. South America compared to Balkan Eastern Europe. We already know there's so many similarities. I'm not South American or Balkan. I'm European. Once had a great leader, followed by a bunch of incompetent morons. Love Germany. Horrible economy slash worthless currency. Despised by neighbors. That is Argentina and Turkey. 
Kentucky, based even in defeat, known for their criminal activities. Unique language, hillbillies, that's Paraguay and Albania. Full of natural resources but poor, internationally known for their, uh, steals your car, that is Colombia and Romania. Okay. The name of their countries are pure cringe, absolutely poor, landlocked, should be partitioned by their neighbors, that is, uh, North Macedonia and Bolivia. Dude, like I said, South America, the Balkans, it's like they just need to unite at this point, they're so similar. Amazing culture with lots of history, good food, interesting ruins, all their good stuff is from a distant past, their present is disappointing and depressing, that's Greece and Peru, a lot of territory, despised by regional gaming communities, hot women, corruption blocking their development, good at sports, powerful military, that's Brazil and Russia, finally, interesting culture, huge migration, known for their criminal ways, discriminated, can live in your local streets if necessary, that's Venezuela and, um, oh, that's the, uh, yes. What am I, how am I supposed to refer to them again? Another win for the South American Balkan Brotherhood. Let's not have monarchies, okay, says Brazil, the USA, Mexico, Argentina, Colombia, and Chile. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Canada just doesn't understand that. I mean, out of all the larger countries in the continents of America, Canada did hold on to theirs for quite some time. Took them all the way until 1981. I mean, technically, their current monarch is still Charles III. All these other countries over here got rid of their monarchs like 200 years ago. Well, then there was the time France went and forced Mexico back into having a monarchy, but they literally only let that slide for a whole three years. Maybe it's just a way northern thing for the Americas, because Greenland has a king too, technically since they're under Denmark. This is my neighbor. He is pain in butt. I speak romance language in the Balkans. He speaks romance language different than his neighbors. I'm known because there's a lot of theft in my country. He's known because there's a lot of theft in his country. I have great internet. He does not. <laughs> great success. I guess this is a rare Romanian dub, at least over Brazil. Plus, Romania has vampires. But Brazil has soccer. It all evens out. Live in an ex-Yugoslavian landlocked microstate, which you have to share with Albanians. Be perfectly fluent in Bulgarian, struggle to join international institutions such as the EU, refuses unification with a strong country like Bulgaria, access to the sea, and instant EU membership just to continue to LARP no one else except you believes. <laughs> and here is the diplomatic relationship between North Macedonia and Bulgaria. <laughs> <laughs> I just love all the family relations that goes on here. It is kind of funny North Macedonia here just refuses to join. Maybe this is why they're just waiting to enact Order 66. You're Romania and Bulgaria to partially enter we'll the Schengen right after a striking deal with Austria. Uh, what? wait, what? The, the EU just said you're in the Schengen, we'll not grant you but you're not fully that. Schengen. What? What? <laughs> Uh, I thought this is what they've been working How for. How can you do this? Oh. This is outrageous. I mean, Austria... It's unfair. Uh... How can okay. you be on the council and not How can be you be in the Schengen zone and not be fully Schengen? That does seem a little unfair. I kind of have to agree with them. They've been waiting 13 years. U.S. elevation. Pretty neat. Imagine living somewhere without mountains. Like, it's all flat. Get on a step stool and see the whole state. Yeah, that's pretty much what you can do with some of these states here, like Louisiana and Florida. The really tall people, like NBA players, probably don't even need a step stool. They could literally see places from, like, two states over. <gasps> Lazy town? Wait, no, no, no. Lazy town is from Botswana. I knew he looked a bit Botswana to me. People also ask, what are the country's issues in Ireland? Number one, women. Wait, wh what? Uh, children though are in third. <laughs> uh, I have so many questions. Uh, another famous example of the old uh, German efficiency here. Yes, these are once again some of those incredibly efficient, uh, Germans, I guess I keep hearing about. I have heard from many Germans that they, they laugh about the German efficiency memes. I still think you guys are pretty efficient. People's reaction when you try to speak their language. The English speaking countries have no reaction. France be like, don't do that. This part of Europe be like, oh, that's cute. Let's just speak in English though. All of Southern Europe be like, oh my God, you literally said one word. We're now BFFs forever. Then there's all the red places that be like, congrats, but why would you do that to yourself? Or why would you put yourself through this. <laughs> I love how different parts of the world take it very, very differently. Russian media urges Putin to attack British warship. Meanwhile, laughs in British. Do you want him to repeat what they did in the Falklands? Russia shouldn't be asking Argentina for advice. Oh, Countries, when they get a King single the squadron King of the fighter jets from the have 80s. Chair, I, uh, I can understand why they'd be uh, oh, pretty hyped. Unfortunately, there is a reason why we are selling 
80s fighter jets. They're just not gonna do that well against modern fighter jets. Wait, uh, Mongolia is actually Switzerland? Always has been. I didn't even realize how an upside down Mongolia is literally just the nation of Switzerland. They have been rather neutral as of the last like couple centuries. There are two sides of Moldova. There's this side and well, there's uh, that, that weird thin thing going on. Basically, this is known as Transnistria. Ironic nationalism leaving a Serbian's body when someone mentions, uh, well, yeah, Kosovo. It was all just jokes before that, and everything changed. I just learned from a very credible source in Greece that there is a very high possibility of an Ottoman Empire too, And it's gonna be created in the next five years, at least Turkey plus Greece. This is huge, and no, this is not a poo post. I am serious. We've had one Ottoman Empire, but what about Ottoman Empire too? This is 100% going to happen. Australian rural towns be like, great, build 10 more. I'm glad that I'm doing some research. I guess I'll expect to see a lot of these whenever I visit Australia one day. Denmark to get Australian head of state before Australia gets Australian head of state. Wait, what? How exactly did that work? Him? Wow, how did you know I'm Danish? Meanwhile, his house. I'm really excited to see one day for myself how incredible the architecture is in Denmark. I've heard their capital of Copenhagen is absolutely incredible. MFers from Nordic countries on their way to create the best video games of all time. Time. I mean, obviously, there's the really big one, Minecraft from Sweden. Well, then there's also all the Paradox games, including City Skylines, Wilhelm, It Takes Two, Max Payne, Alan Wake, Battlefield, All the World. I'm not sure what that word means, but feeling bad, maybe something like that, for Bolivia because they don't have a coastline. Meanwhile, there's also Paraguay. It might be one of those things, it's just because Bolivia is so much larger than Paraguay that people's eyes naturally go to them first. Yeah, I think it just really comes down to like a surface area thing, just a lot bigger, so people focus on them. Big Thanks to my patrons. You can find a link in the description down below to support me. The beautiful Megan Underwood. Drum your dad back with the milk. Look outside. A fat I normal. cannot sleep without Jack Drew's voice. No Amateur friend. archaeology. Carmel Frederick Dibblin. Inquisitor Zerius. John Denver. Carino is Luxembourg. best girl. Sebi, if you hear Robert this, e. I love Tambrin. you. The Great the Mexican 760. And Zany Boy.